than normal, but I did get the ads. And so I wanna talk about, um, sorry, adjusting my phone. <laughs> so I wanna talk about what's going on sale in my area this week, what I might be buying. And then I wanna talk about my next budget-friendly meal plan that I finally um, finished. And I'm gonna start shopping and filming this week for that. So if you're watching this later, you can just zoom ahead if you don't wanna hear some of this, um, the first part of the ads. Um, and leave your comments down below so I can come back and answer them later. So first, let's talk about Aldi, my favorite. So looks like they're doing $3.99 a pound on tri-tip roast, so that's a pretty good price. 99 cents on red grapes, that's a really good price. $1.29 on a three-pack of green bell peppers, so that's an excellent deal. Um, it's a little over $2 right now for that pack at my Aldi. 79 cents for the mini seedless cucumbers. $1.39 for a 24 ounce package of um, vine ripened tomatoes. $1.29 for cauliflower and then $2.79 for these little salad kits. Plus $7.99 for um, one pound of ground bison, which is <laughs> interesting. I've never seen that before. And $2.29 a pound for St. Louis spare ribs. Plus I did notice that they're going to be doing 79 cent hot dogs and $2.99 for the Italian sweet sausage. What else did I see that I was like excited about? $1.79 for um, chips and $4.99 for this 80 count of um, like Otter Pops, the off brand. And then I did notice they're gonna be getting some things in the value aisle um, for back to school or for kids, you know, for their bedrooms. So lots of different um, kids items going um, up Yes, or tomorrow, or tonight. You might wanna check your Aldi. Sometimes they put their, um, all the Aldi um, finds out the night before. So if there's something here that you want, go over there and check tonight, like right before closing and see if they put them out. Sometimes they do that at mine, sometimes they don't. So um, it looks like they have some bed spreads, reversible for twin, twin XL full or queen. And then some of these squish night lights, which we have some and we got them from Amazon. They're so fun. The kids love them. They come in different animals. We have like a cat and a dragon, so I'm sure they're gonna have a bunch of different animals and they change colors and things like that. So um, the $6.99 is a really good deal because I think they're normally $20 on Amazon. So this might be something that I might take advantage of because if one of my kids' um, night lights goes out, it's nice to have a backup. A couple different other LED um, novelty lamps. This Furniture Kids bookcase, it's only $50. That's a good, good deal for that and it'll probably go on sale in like two weeks. So you can try to wait and see. Then a character backrest, some uh, cooling weighted blankets for kids, and a twin or full sheet set here. And they also have some educational things. Let's see, checking for comments. If you have comments, leave them down below. Looks like they have, um, what else? Benden board book and plush set, that looks fun. Some character um, sensory watches. And then it looks like a handheld steamer, some shoes and socks and um, some awesome little bento box kits. This is a three or four compartment container for $4.99. And then this one is the, um, the collapsible like meal planner for $4.99 and they've got lots of little to-go kits. This is a five pack for $6.99. So lots of goodies coming to Aldi. Um, they're probably gonna have a lot more things on sale when I walk into the store. So I'll show you that when I go shopping um, tomorrow and then I'll post that on Thursday. So uh, we're gonna do Vons Albertson Safeway next because I did notice a couple of awesome deals that they have $1.97 um, a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breast. So this is what the kind of deal that I normally look for when I stock up on meats. So the way that I save money is I don't buy meats every week. I only go shopping for meats when they're on sale. So if I see that it's under $2 a pound for ground beef, ground turkey, um, chicken of any kind, I will go stock up and buy like the maximum, which is usually like 10 pounds. So I'll work that $20 into my weekly budget and then just eliminate a couple other things that I can do without for the week. So that way I'm not going over budget at any point. But um, sometimes I add like 40 to $60 a month extra just on meats if I am planning on buying like bulk buy. So I probably do this every six weeks or so. And that's usually about the time that the deal comes back. So if you're looking to save money, I recommend getting like a food saver, and um, some of the food saver bags, which they go on sale a lot around Black Friday, Prime Day, 
um, grab that. Uh, it's usually like a hundred bucks or something like that. And sometimes it comes with bags too, which is nice, but it'll save you a ton of money in the long run. And then you can stock up on meats. And then when you vacuum seal them, they last for months in the deep freezer. Um, we have a deep freezer and I think it was like $150. It's not a, a giant one. It just sits in the, um, in the garage, but it doesn't take up that much space, honestly. So that's something to think about too. Um, those are some things that will save you money in the long run. If you have a regular freezer, you can put it in there. As long as it's not like right up front or in the door, it'll still last a long time too. So you just don't want it to thaw out. But they do have $1.97 a pound for strawberries and $4.99 a pound for the 90% ground beef. So that's a pretty good deal too. Or top sirloin. And they've got salad kits, two for six. Chips Ahoy, peanut butter, and bread for $1.97. They have $1.97 for the six ounce cheese. Now they did have a two pound package of um, cheese the other day for uh, $5.97 as well. So um, that's just something to think about when you're, you know, cause 16 ounces is a pound. So that would be, uh, let's see, two of these would be a pound. So that would be four of these. So that's $8. So it would have saved you $2 to buy the really large one, the two pound package last week, or actually it's probably still going on today. So if you have a Safeway or Vons or Albertsons, you can still go grab the two pound package or the two pound chunks. Um, and again, it's 597. So that's what I did as I went and did a special trip at Vons and got cheese. Plus they had milk for 2.97 a gallon, plus um, an 18 count of eggs for 2.97, plus a dollar off, so it's $1.97 for 18 eggs. So that's what I went and got. So looks like they're gonna have 2.97 right now for 18 count eggs again and the gallon of milk. So double check the app and see if there's an additional dollar off coupon because if there is, then you can snag that and get an even better deal. So let's see if there's anything else. It's been a crazy day, it's really, really hot. And I'm tired, I'm ready to rest. Um, I will have my vlog up tomorrow though. I'll show you a garden update and show you what I've been cooking and stuff. Looks like they have some deals on the pick four, but again, I don't normally see a lot of great deals on this. This is just, um, you know, a few cents off here and there and you have to buy four, but you can mix and match. And it's fun when they have these, um, I like when they do this. this. This is fun for ideas. So they add like um, little ideas for you to make dinner. So <laughs> loaded nachos, that's one of my favorite things. And I'll show you all the prices for what you'd buy. And then turkey stuffed peppers, um, quick and easy sandwiches, salads and chips and steak fajitas. And then they have a chicken teriyaki bowl. So that's kind of fun. They have like dinner ideas in the ad and they show you the prices and what you might spend. So that's, that's useful actually, I like it. And then Friday Frenzy, that's when they do only on Fridays specific things where you get extra money off. So four um, pounds for $5 for the grapes. That's on Friday. Two for five for um, Tostitos chips or dips. They've got some cocktails. They've got um, ch pizzas, so pepperoni and cheese. What else? Looks like they have leg quarters, $5 for a 10 pound package. That's a crazy good deal for leg quarters. Um, let's see, so that's like 50 cents a pound. Wow, limit two bags. And um, shrimp for $6 a pound. So that's Friday only, so just keep an eye out. And then also, if you don't have Ibotta, I definitely recommend downloading that if you're doing any um, shopping for name brand items because they frequently have coupons um, for all kinds of name brand things, craft, um, like Lunchables, they have medicine on sale all the time, like just all kinds of stuff where you can get cash back. So if you're doing any name brand shopping, always check Ibotta because it's not like points, it's just dollars back and you can either get it in PayPal or a gift card. I just do gift card usually like Amazon, Starbucks, so I can treat myself. <laughs> Let's check the comments really quick before I talk about the um, meal plan that I have um, coming up soon. Okay, so making macaroni and cheese with chicken from your recipe, thank you. You're welcome, I hope you love it. <laughs> That's a fun, easy recipe, I love that. Sheila, I bet those bento boxes are great for homemade Lunchables. Yes, that's what I was thinking too. If I didn't already have um, containers, because uh, I just use like the, the oh my gosh, what is it, Rubbermaid or something? They're the snap ones and they just come with little compartments you can put in. So we use those for now, but I, I'm really thinking I'm gonna see if those bento boxes go on sale even further and I might pick up a couple for homemade Lunchables because that's so fun. Kids love that when there's everything all in little compartments. And then you said, I've been watching your pantry videos, giving lots of ideas to stretch your grocery budget. Thank you. I'm glad. Um, that was definitely a challenge. I think we did like five weeks of only shopping for fresh ingredients. So it was produce, milk, butter, you know, that sort of thing. 
and uh, limiting myself to like $20, $25 and just using what I had on hand for five weeks, which was like, <laughs> I didn't plan ahead either. I just thought, okay, my pantry looks pretty full. I need to go ahead and go through some of this. And I didn't plan ahead at all. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little crazy. Grayson, you gotta put your headphones on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, all right, so I wanna just talk really quickly about what my sort of plan is for the next budget-friendly meal plan. So, I don't have it written down how much I'm spending, but um, I think it's like $30, and I'm gonna be making, this time I'm just gonna be doing dinners, it'll be like five or six dinner ideas, and um, I'm going to lean into pasta. Pasta is my favorite thing ever. And so I decided not to do that for the first few budget-friendly meal plans because it's easy for me, <laughs> because it's my favorite. Um, but I did try to challenge myself to think outside the box using some of the pasta. Um, and not every single meal has pasta, but I do try to use um, pasta in some way in most of them. And again, just using meat as a garnish. And so I have like a, um, a secret ingredient lasagna that I'll be sharing, <laughs> and it's gonna be easy and budget friendly. Then I've got a stroganoff, and if you don't like mushrooms, you can just leave those out, but I am gonna be adding mushrooms. Um, let's see, I've got a, a secret ingredient Alfredo, so that'll be fun. And then of course, I'm just gonna be doing like a chicken and veggie soup, and um, I have a really fun chicken noodle casserole um, that's kind of leaning into um, like comfort food sort of thing. And um, I'm planning on also hopefully doing maybe like a cheese pizza or something like that. So that's kind of the idea. And it's gonna be obviously more like comfort foods <laughs> because pasta tends to be that way. Um, I did write everything down in my little meal planner here. So I have my full list of everything written down for my next meal. Um, budget-friendly meal plan, which I'm gonna be shopping for tomorrow, which means I'm gonna start cooking tomorrow and hopefully I'll have it ready for you by next week. Cross your fingers, just depends on everything goes well. Sometimes when I make the recipe, I'm like, oh wow, that didn't turn out right. I need to go back and get you know, the ingredients and like start all over again. That happens <laughs> occasionally. Um, but this week I should have a um, another, I, I, I went and got just a, a set amount of ingredients and I've been making a lot of really fun dinners this week um, with a little bit more ingredients than I normally use. And so I'll have that ready for you this week at some point. Um, I'm almost done cooking all of the ingredients. Um, tonight, I think it'll be the last meal on that one so that I can edit it and put it up maybe Saturday or Sunday or Monday. So keep your eye out for that. I'll have a bunch more recipes and some more fun ideas that you probably hadn't thought about with some of the, um, I used some, um, summer ingredients. So maybe things that you can get from your garden, um, zucchini, acorn squash. So I've used some other fun ingredients. So look forward to that. Um, let's see, Clyde, let's see. I like your shopping budget book. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I, I finally remembered to actually put it in the link in the description. Um, I just built this myself on Canva, so it's nothing fancy. But um, I built it myself and tried to keep it under $10 because I personally wanted to buy it because I could not find anything that I liked and so I made it with inventory sheets so there's um, a place for me to keep you know, track of what I actually have so I don't double buy anything. So I've got pantry, freezer, and fridge and then of course 52 weeks of the Monday through Sunday meal planning and then the grocery list area and then on the back side there are places for notes which is where I write like when I write new budget friendly meal plans. That's where um, that stuff goes. <laughs> so I need to add more notes pages next time. Next time I make a new one, um, if I make a new one, a different one, then uh, I'll add more notes pages to it. But I can only put a certain amount of pages in order to keep it under $10. So I tried to make it as budget friendly as possible, of course. So it should last you a year. Um, but I made it myself. So it's, again, like it's not like a, <laughs> uh, you know, Barnes and Noble grade book or anything. It's just a, you know, Amazon quick print. So. Anyway, um, I think that is it. If y'all have any questions, put them in the comments right now and then I can answer them for you. I don't think I have any other. I'm so excited when I get the ads now because they sometimes don't show up and I'm so sad. I just like to know what I'm getting into ahead of time. If I need to make a special trip to Vons Albertsons because of the bulk you know, um, meat buying and stuff like that. I still have 
oh, I think like three pounds of chicken on hand and I used a ton of chicken this week. I have ground beef, ground turkey. I have a whole chicken in the fridge that I just thawed for, um, I'm gonna either roast it or put it in the crock pot, I haven't decided. So I wanna roast it and um, shred it. And then I'll say, of course, save the bones and the skin. I wanna make chicken broth. And then this time I'm also gonna be saving the fat from the chicken when I make it. Um, like, you know, when you when you have the broth and you let it cool, there's like that layer of fat. Normally I just toss it, but people were mentioning like, hey, you can use that for instead of like butter or oil when you cook and just use a little bit. And so I'm really excited. I wanna try that out and see how that is. And I bet the flavor is amazing. So that's the plan for today. <laughs> so I'll share that recipe if it turns out um, well, because I, I bought the whole, uh, whole chicken at 99 cents a pound. So I think it was like a $5 whole chicken. So. That's um, very budget friendly. And if you didn't notice on the last, well, maybe like four weeks in a row at Aldi, they had um, whole turkey for like 49 cents a pound. It's not there now, I was just over there. Um, I, we did the special trip just to buy um, snacks, like a couple little snacks for the kids <laughs> and snacks for my husband um, because we, and for me too. But um, like since I'm doing the budget friendly plan tomorrow, that doesn't include, you know, snack food. So I was like, let's just get a couple things, you know. <laughs> so I was there scoping things out just now. Um, I'm looking at Ralph's here. I don't ever really see any really great deal at Ralph's. Um, is Ralph's Kroger? I can't remember, but I know that they, they have um, other, other names for their stores. <clears throat> but you can see like $1.99 a pound when we know that it's 99 cents at one of the other stores. Um, I think it's at Aldi and two for six on the cheeses, but you know, you can get it $1.97 at Vons or Albertsons right now. Um, and of course it's like much cheaper at Aldi all the time. So that's just the thing. It's like looking at some of these deals, I'm like, um. So right now I saw at Aldi, they have like $4.99 for a whole watermelon, like a giant watermelon. And, and see Ralph's is doing it 49 cents a pound. So I, I prefer to do like the each. Grayson, you gotta put your headphones in, honey. You gotta keep it in, honey. Yeah, thank you. Um, I prefer to not do it by the pound because I like to get a really nice heavy watermelon because you know it's going to be like juicy. And so I hate to be like charged per pound. I'd rather it just be like the each, like pick out whatever one you like and it's five bucks or whatever. Um, let's see. And they do have some other things on sale too. What is this? I don't shop at Ralph's, so I'm like, I don't know what their ad looks like. But <laughs> So they have a mix and match, save a dollar when you buy five or more sort of thing. And this is just all prepackaged, kind of like the... the um, the sometimes foods, <laughs> the foods that I can't eat all the time because then my stomach would hurt. And then Stater Brothers, they don't tend to have like um, great deals, but see, 18 count eggs for $2.99, but you know that you can get it for $2.97 at Vons and Albertsons, um, but also they have the dollar off additional coupon. Hello, hi, from Sweden, that's amazing. What time is it over there? It's probably, uh, is it evening? Are you like nine hours ahead? Because <laughs> right now it's almost noon here. Okay, let's see. I don't see any other deals. I don't really see any deals at Stater Brothers. Nothing that like screams at me. I don't, I, again, I try to look for things that are, well, they have $1.29 a pound drumsticks, but I mean, drumsticks are not even that expensive anyways these days. So, and then if you didn't know, some of your ads will come with like fast food coupons. So if you want to treat yourself, Sometimes they have fun little coupons in there. Smart and Final, ooh, 59 cents for avocados for Smart and Final. That's a good deal. 89 cents a pound for Aromas. It's the same price at Aldi right now. 99 cents for um, drumsticks or leg quarters. That's a good deal, 99 cents a pound. And then we have Cardenas, which I don't know if y'all have that. So that's it though for today. Um, oh, it's 2049. Okay, so yeah. A little bit later <laughs> than here. Uh, good evening. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. But if you have any other comments or questions, um, put them down below. And I will come back to them later too and answer them. But just keep your eye out. I do have more recipes coming. I have one recipe I'm sharing tomorrow in my vlog. So if you want a sneak peek, you can watch the vlog and get one of those, one of my favorite recipes that I made this last week. And then... Um, I will also be sharing either Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, all of the recipes I've made for the past week, which are really yummy. I can't wait to share all those. And then of course, I'll have my budget-friendly um, plan. It's gonna be about $30 or less, I think, um, coming the following week after that. And of course, my Aldi haul and all that will go up on Thursday, so you can see what I purchased. So if you wanna kind of um, prepare and follow along, you can kind of do that. So 
All right, I'm gonna get back to it. I think I'm gonna head over to one of my other social media sites and go live for a few minutes over there, say hi to everyone. So if you wanna join me over there, head on over. Have a wonderful day.